What if Goddess Hecate has manifested herself during my work with the Uruz rune? And if I start working on establishing contact with Hecate during my rune studies, will that cause an unfavorable overlap of the Greek and the Norse tradition? You know what? Try it. No one can tell you for sure. For some, there might be a conflict, and for some, it may lead to a strengthening of certain powers. From my side, I would like to say that Hecate is an all-embracing goddess. She is the master of all crossroads, all passages between the worlds, between the systems, between the pantheons, and between mythologies. Either way, Hecate's image, her trace, her presence, and touch can be felt in the depths of any myth at least from what I can tell. And I've never come across an issue where Hecate was contradictory in terms of other gods or other channels. In my case, this never happened. But a conflict is very well possible. For example, if there are some internal prohibitions. In that case, you will have to deal specifically with those prohibitions. From what I know, such a systemic conflict does not exist. It hasn't been mentioned absolutely anywhere. First of all, because all paganism is quantumness. It is all a multidimensionality. It is not a binary formation, and this means that there are mathematical mechanisms for the purpose of resonating with one another during the process of informational exchange and while establishing a quantum connection. I would describe it that way. This is how I understand it.